Hello fellow foreign language teachers, how is your day going? Anything new? My name is Tatiana Skripkina and you are watching my YouTube channel which is for teachers of foreign languages. Today I will talk about teaching online, about advantages and disadvantages. I have been teaching online for six years and I just love it and my students love it as well. Firstly, because it's extremely convenient. It doesn't matter where you are or where your students are, you just you are able to conduct a lesson. And you don't have to worry that when your students are away or when you are away as a teacher, there is no need to worry that you miss your lessons or your students miss the lessons. All you need to have is, for example, a smartphone or a laptop or a tablet, headphones, and web camera is in these devices. So you don't have to buy a web camera. It is extremely convenient because you are able to conduct your lessons if you are at home, at your workplace, in a car as a passenger, or if you are going somewhere, I mean you are driving, you can just park your car for one hour and have a lesson. I had this practice with my students and it was wonderful. I, I loved it. If you are on a beach, in the airport, at a hotel, I don't know, in a cafe, it doesn't matter where you are, you are able to have your lessons. Currently I'm having some students who are TV hosts and due to their work they have to travel all around the world and for them it is essential to have lessons in order to improve their knowledge of languages. Uh, some of them learn Spanish and some of them learn English as they are able to, to use the language while they travel for work. I have had lessons with my students when they were in China, America, Germany, um, Chile, Guatemala, Jakarta, Bali, etc, etc. And I didn't worry that they miss their lessons. Also, I teach people who live in, in other cities or who live in, in other countries. Also, I teach teenagers and their parents are extremely happy that they don't have to take their uh, children to and from the lessons or to worry if their child got saved to a lesson. Also, you save your time and money because you don't have to commute to and from a lesson. For example, I live in a big cosmopolitan city and I need to spend like two hours to commute to a lesson, have one hour to conduct the lesson and then go back to spend two more hours. So I need five hours only for one person and when I teach online I don't spend time and money to commute there is no need you are able to share your screen to show the same presentations as if you show them when you teach in person you're also you are able to watch the same videos uh, have a look at the same websites, to have activities, to use the chart box for uh, spelling activities. So there is no need to worry that the lessons which are conducted online are dull and not interesting. Also, you are able, there is a function when you teach via Skype, uh, there is a function to record the lesson. As a teacher, you may have, um, you may use it for teacher observation or to conduct uh, a research. Students are able to record 
lessons as well for them to have a look at it after the lesson and revise all the necessary information which they might have missed. Also, it's free, it's free of charge. You need only one click to download Skype. I use Skype when I teach um, one to one or also I use um, Google Hangouts when I teach more than one person. Again, it's free of charge and it doesn't take you a lot of time to download and use it. Try it. Try teaching online. I'm sure you will fall in love with teaching online. And if you have anything to add, please add, please comment. I will be happy to read your comments and to answer them. Remember to subscribe to be the first to watch videos. That's all for now and see you later. Bye!